from soldier to city council member to congressional candidate, Democrat Tulsi Gabbard cast her ballot at Honolulu Hale this morning. Gabbard stands as one of two people in line to represent Hawaii's second congressional district on the national stage. Gabbard started her career in politics at the age of 21, and 10 years later, she's been referred to as the rising star of the Democratic Party. KITV4's Cam Tran sat down with a candidate vying to represent rural Oahu and the neighbor islands in the House of Representatives. I was shy, a total introvert, afraid to talk to strangers, afraid to talk to people. Uh, so the idea that I would someday run for office was something that did not exist within my universe growing up. But for 31-year-old Tulsi Gabbard, that has all changed. After a big victory over seasoned politician Mufi Hanneman in the August primary, Gabbard is the Democratic nominee in the District 2 race for the U.S. House of Representatives. Going forward, I feel very excited about um, the opportunity to be in a, a very strong position to serve Hawaii, to be a strong voice for Hawaii if the voters uh, give me that privilege on November 6th. We sat down with the candidate yards away from the State House, where Gabbard started her political career as the youngest member of the Hawaii House of Representatives. I was 21 years old and uh, stepped way, way outside of my comfort zone. In 2003, she stepped into the combat zone by enlisting in the Hawaii National Guard. After two deployments to the Middle East, the Army captain came back and served on the Honolulu City Council, where she says one of her proudest moments was updating a law allowing lunch trucks to park longer on public streets. The lunch trucks being able to pass legislation in record time to support uh, kind of the epitome of entrepreneurship and small businesses with our lunch wagons. Gabbard says she wants to take her military experience to a national level. If elected to the U.S. House, Gabbard wants to curb the number of military suicides and make the troop withdrawal in Afghanistan a high priority. The urgency cannot be overstated that we need to bring our troops home from Afghanistan as quickly and safely as possible. Uh, we're seeing uh, conditions there on the ground uh, getting worse, not getting better. Aloha. Gabbard was thrust into the national spotlight when Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi invited her to speak at the Democratic National Convention. Though she has gained widespread attention in recent months, and a civil beat poll shows her in a commanding lead over Republican opponent Kavika Crowley, Gabbard isn't taking the general election lightly. I respect anyone who, who, uh, who puts their name in to offer to serve the people. This one shy and introverted kid could make history next Tuesday. Winning the general election would make Gabbard the first Hindu and one of the first female combat veterans to serve in Congress. To be the servant leader that people deserve uh, is something that I look forward to having the honor to do. Camp Tran, KITV4 News. And you'll remember last month we profiled Gabbard's Republican rival for the second congressional district seat, Kavika Crowley. You can find that story along with all of our political profiles on the KITV4 News election app. Just search Commitment 2012 in the App Store.